Hello again, Struck Club. Another upcoming games video for me this month. The Underdog Tracklist. It's tracklist dedicated to upcoming games for June that are not as high profile, as massive as, for example, Diablo 4 uh, would be, but uh, still might deserve some attention. And uh, to those of you who do have some spare time to play and are looking for something new, something maybe indie, um, this might be the list. Um, this might maybe help you. Find something refreshing, fresh to play. Uh, I've included 8 total games in this list, kind of uh, small, but again, there aren't that many releases in June compared to some of the other months. Maybe most of the developers will also be busy playing Diablo 4, so they know that it's not uh, a nice month to launch, considering you have Diablo 4, you have Final Fantasy um, in that month. So yeah, those 8 little games, well, not so little, but uh, 8 um, not as popular games. Uh, I hope you find some of them interesting. Buckle up, struck club, and let's begin. Let's kick things off with uh, an interesting title called uh, Myriad's uh, Renaissance. It's a very, um, how should I say it, uh, a nice take uh, on turn-based strategy city builder with uh, 4x hex grid uh, um, mechanics. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty solid. So turn-based strategy game with city building and forex mechanics set in a fantasy world made up of thousands of floating islands. You must grow your capital and expand your kingdom. Resist waves of powerful corsairs and construct defense towers to survive their incursions. Um, there is a downloadable and playable demo on Steam and as far as I know the game is only coming on Steam. Releasing on the 1st of June 2023. Developed and self-published by Sleeping 8 Studio. Usually it looks uh, pretty beautiful, pretty nice. And I like that whole mechanic of those uh, m many islands that you can um, kind of end up connecting and uh, absorbing in your um, kingdom, empire, or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I think it's a very nice, refreshing title. And I think that um, some of you out there, if you're fans of the forex genre, you're looking looking for a new take on the forex genre. That should be it. The next title in this list is called Whoop Eight: Summer of Gods. Um, it's kind of like maybe considered double A gaming, um, as, as normally are Exit and Marvelous games. So yeah, the next title from Marvelous Inc. and Exit Games. Um, your Choices shape the world in this coming of age RPG. As new arrival in a 1980s rural Japanese town with a mysterious ability to whoop time, your every decision and relationship will affect the outcome of battles against the invading Kegai. A little bit about the game. Um, so you're stepping into the life of Nini, a newly um, earthbound teen who arrives in the quaint Japanese town of. Uh, Ashihara in August 1983. For the town, befriend its people and face off against the Kegai in turn based battles where the outcomes depend on the relationships you've built and the decisions you've made. Use Nini's special connection to the gods to reset the world. Reach loop, allowing Nini and his allies to relive the eighth month over and over until they get it right. Or the Kegai overcome them entirely. One month until the world ends, how will you spend each day? So, interesting uh, themes. Choices uh, can change the world, you can relieve the past to outer the future, and it's a picturesque view of rural Japan. Um, uh, view an ordinary life, fight extraordinary enemies. These are some of the, the, the catchphrases, the catchy phrases that the game um, tries to hook you with. There are some mini games from the looks of it. There's again that that bond system of how, how close you are to your allies and that depends um, um, that, that the buffs depend on. Overall um, classical um, traditional um, JRPG systems mixed with uh, modern JRPG systems. Um, the visuals might not be the most beautiful ones. Um, but it's aiming for that anime style, and uh, in this regard, it's doing well. So, Wu Paid, 6th of June 2023. Next on the list is something called Nocturnal. 
releasing on the 7th of June 2023, developed by Sunnyside Games and published by Dear Villagers. After years of traveling, Ardashir finds his native island covered in a mysterious fog. Carve your way with fire and steel to find out what happened to your people in this action platformer game. You're the only one who can discover the secrets that lie beyond the mist. So if you're looking for um, an interesting uh, action platformer um, 2D kind of game, uh, while it might not be my genre, uh, I still think many of you might find Nocturno on the 7th of June a reasonable title. Next we have a title that is uh, for those of you who like VR. Undead Citadel. It's exclusive for VR. It immerses you into an adventure uh, encountering hundreds of undead in breathtaking combat, crammed with numerous foes. Squash, stab, crush, shoot or dismember with your own hands as you find the way into the depths of the cursed citadel. Developed and self-published by Dark Curry SL, releasing on the 8th of June 2023. Um, it seems to be a full release, no early access, but there's going to be over 60 hand-to-hand -hand combat weapons, including swords, axes, warhammer, maces, shields, two-handed weapons, etc. And 100% physics-based combat uh, system. So, um, if that looks like something you want to try, Undead Citadel on the 8th of June might be. Uh, your next feel of VR goodness. Next up comes Space Rain. Releasing on the 12th of June 2023, developed and self-published by Propulsive Games, it is an early access release by the way, so expect bugs and glitches and, and missing stuff. An indie space sim and strategy game featuring ship and fleet combat mixed with management of a private space corporation. Claim sectors for your faction and race its influence in the near future, where resources, um, where resource exploiting corporations are in a state of constant conflict over territory control. So you're representing one of the space corporations in the near future as they fight for control over the crucial supply of deep space natural resources, engage in ship to ship combat, take on different missions, explore and exploit sectors with dynamic traffic. Um, so you're establishing your uh, corporation, uh, customizing your ship in multiple ways, you're commanding a fleet and there is direct unit control. So if this sounds like your kind of uh, space sim, if you're looking for something like that, um, this one definitely has interesting things. Conventional weapons, modular damage, contract system, dynamic sector traffic and detection mechanics. Space Rain uh, on the 12th of June 2023, I think it's a lovely um, suggestion for the space sim fanatics. Next up is King's Butt. Auto Chess meets a Grim Dark RPG. Uh, assemble a powerful guild, lead them through treacherous missions and dungeons and unlock their true potential with smart combat decisions. If you haven't seen me play this game, I was given, um, I was given access to it um, ahead of launch. Uh, and I've streamed it for a, for, for a few days um, and I reached reasonably far enough. So um, you might want to check those out if this little bit of trailer is not enough. Auto Chess, again, meeting Grimdark, dot at Auto Battling. It's pretty fun. Um, Icy Forge, UG um, are the developer, self-publisher of the game. The release date is the 21st of June 2023. So I really liked it, but maybe you also will. Herocraft PC um, are the developer and self-publisher of Revival Recolonization. An upcoming early access release, so again with early access expect bugs and glitches and missing stuff. Um, the 28th of June 2023 is the release date and Herocraft are um, making, uh, um, making uh, a stop at PC gaming. From what I can see the, the developers are mostly uh, creators of uh, mobile games, but let's see how this goes. This looks very promising and very exciting as a 4X game. Set in post-apocalyptic version of Earth, Revival is a 4X strategy game where the world and its rules can change at key moments, creating a deep and highly replayable experience. So, are you looking for a new 4X? Well, um, other than, than Myriad's Renaissance, this one is another uh, exciting title for 4X lovers to try in June 2023.
Age of Reforging the Freelance is the last title on this list. It is a medieval fantasy sandbox strategy and survival RPG. Players will take on the role as a reforger, chosen by the goddess of fate, growing and expanding their party on a journey through a vast land of opportunity, the Freelance, to adventure as they wish. Releasing sometime in June 2023, but take this with all the salt shaker of salt, not just a grain, because again, this could be just a placeholder date that they forgot to push um, or to update. Uh, developed and self-published by Persona Game Studio. So if it doesn't come on June, uh, maybe just uh, wishlist it for with Keep It On Your Raider. Um, if it seems like something fun uh, and exciting uh, based on what you like. Um, so yeah, mixing uh, sandbox fantasy sandbox mechanics with strategy and survival RPG mechanics. Um, providing an open world, having a ton of uh, exploration. This game... Um, seems to be something that uh, might be worth uh, keeping an eye out for. Um, it's, by the way, by the company behind Blackthorn Arena, which I liked, I found extremely difficult, um, but uh, still um, it seemed fun and polished when I tried Blackthorn Arena. So maybe uh, Age of Reforging the Freelance would have that same amount of polish Bla Blackthorn Arena had. And Blackthorn Arena had a reasonable price, 1679 currently on Steam in terms of Euro, so maybe Age of Reforging will be similar. I see plenty of uh, interesting skill trees, small skill trees, but plenty of them, and maybe you can mix and match. And the combat seems fun. Visually, the game doesn't seem like anything special, but that's not um, the charm of games like this one. Um, it still looks good enough to make people want to play it. So huge world, massive world, apparently. Um, and what you do with your team, with your fate, with, uh, with, with your character, remains to be seen but overall i think uh, the trailer is showing enough of the game for people to know whether it's something they want to add to their wish list and follow even if it doesn't release in june 2023 the visual effects look fun um the combat seems uh, reasonable again um, not the best of combat but good enough um to make me want to like it it's a single player experience um but um it seems to be done right from the, again from the trailer. So hopefully uh, the trailer is not misleading, and hopefully this game ends up fun um, to any of you who end up testing it out. To get notified when I upload more content like this one or other builds and guides for water and not so water games, you can subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to not miss out on notifications. As well as uh, keep in mind there's something called memberships on YouTube, which lets you be a paying member for my channel to get access to perks such as emotes and badges made by me as well as the option to get one-on-one uh, -on -one tutoring for the very basics of adobe photoshop premiere and after effects and memberships can be cancelled at any time if you no longer want to be a member uh, thanks for watching all the way until the end struck keep it cool until next time and goodbye